Hello everyone, and thank you for joining us today for the Sage Intelligence Report Manager demo. Today, we will be showing you the business intelligence reporting that comes out of the box with Sage 300. Stay tuned for future webinars where we will be going into greater detail on the other intelligence modules available and some of the more advanced reporting that you can do. So the agenda for today will start with a brief introduction of CompuTrack, as well as an overview of the entire Sage Intelligence Suite. We will see a demo of the Report Manager module and what it is capable of. And as I mentioned earlier, we will have future webinars where we will go over the other modules and their functionality in the Sage BI tool. We'll then leave some time at the end for any questions you may have. Some of you know who we are. In business since 1987, CompuTrack Solutions is a premier Sage business partner specializing in the implementation of Sage 300, formerly called ACPAC. We offer fully integrated solutions for sales, human resources, EDI, and much more. Our mission is to be a trusted resource enabling organizations to reach their full potential through technology. Today on the line, we have Karen Savry, our Sage 300 and BI consultant, as well as myself, Stefan Southwall, the Director of Client Services. Why Sage Intelligence? Easy to use in the familiar interface of Microsoft Excel, it eliminates the spreadsheet chaos by providing you with a controlled and secure environment to store and run your Excel reports, saves you time and money by automating the report preparation and pulling trusted information from your ERP spend more time analyzing the data rather than putting it together, allows for flexible reporting and improves collaboration by automating the report distribution and notifications. It allows for one single version of the truth and eliminates human error and improves collaboration among teams. Consolidate data and stay competitive as you need more information than just what's in your general ledger. You can pull from other databases. So what is Sage Intelligence? Uh, summarizing what I just mentioned, you can also see a dashboard of what is provided out of the box with Sage Intelligence and enables you to get started right away and provide quality data and information to management, which is being pulled straight from your ERP. So now we will open up Sage 300 and the Sage Intelligence and give you a brief demo of the report manager module. So let me briefly go over the modules of the Sage Business Intelligence. Out of the box, you get a free report manager module that allows you to run the reports and queries that come with the system. How the system works is it uses the connector module to connect to the database and pull the data from the tables and fields that are defined in the containers you see here. You do not have a full license for the connector module out of the box, so you cannot make changes to these containers. And this is what we will be demoing for you today. You will need to purchase this license in order to do more advanced reporting, which, will be, which we will be showing to you in a future video. So without further ado, here is Karen to demo the report manager. Good afternoon, everyone. Uh, we'll just show you a quick Report view is the same as kind of, it just shows you the reports in a quick view. Um, as a report manager, you're also able to use the report viewer to run any or refresh your reports. If there's anybody else who needs an actual license, they will need to have a, to be able to run reports, they will need a report viewer. Out of the box, you'll get your dashboard analysis. AR is if you're, if you're using just your AR without order entry. The 3.8 is from your order, um, your order entry system. Financial trend analysis is from your GL, just like your general ledger transactions. Inventory master, if you use an inventory. Your top five customers from AR, um, your top five products from PO and your top five vendors from purchase orders. Purchase master is from your POs if you use purchase orders. Sales. Uh, 3.2 is from your order entry, and sales AR is if you're using just AR without your order entry. So with that note, we'll jump right back into the reports. This is your sales master that's out of the box. It is designed to pull in all the data as of a specific grid. So when I refresh this report, 
I asked for the period from January 1st to January to December 31st to sample data, so that's why you see 2019. It gives you the ability to be able to pull or extract data only for a specific salesperson, um, customer group, category, period, location name, currency, as well it gives you also the option of doing filtering within the actual columns itself. So if I only wanted to see a specific item, um, a customer, as well as because it's a pivot table, you're able to see all the other fields, like Stefan said, that the container has built, um, but hasn't been populated on this report, you do have the option of actually dragging that into this pivot table. So if you were to run this report for multiple years, you only need to see the filter. You could also pull that filter in this year in here. Now you automatically have a filter to be able to run and pull the information from that report. Next, Purchase Master. Here is the Purchase Master, which is pulling information from your purchase order. It gives you the flexibility of doing the same information, things that we did in the other report. And there are the fields that come with the container. You're able to also add in, once again, maybe if you needed to see a location code, you could add that in. And as far as now you can see your location. Now this is the code, not the actual location name. But you could also then uncheck it if you don't want that. You have the supplier code. If you have a supplier code, we'll give you that as well. So you do have the flexibility of maintaining and managing this report. If you do feel that you need to change it on a constant basis, you will have to then save it using the report manager as a template. So this is why it's grayed out, but if you wanted to, you could go in here, pull out your information, and, and say save Excel template. That will be coming in another tool as far as how to use the report manager. Okay, here you'll see a top five customers report. That will give you your top sales from a period of January 1st to December 31st. Um, gives you the quantity and the sales. You could also change this report by modifying how many, what your filter is. Right now I'm saying top five. Keep in mind that you still have the option of going in here and changing this report to a top 10. Also gives you a nice customized uh, graph. If you need to change that, you would be able to modify that using like your any other Excel um, graphs. So within the Sage Intelligence, you do have the functionality of building graphical information based on data that is stored within this report. You also have the top five products, same feel as the top customers. Inventory Master is, is as of the time that you ran it, so I ran it as of December 31st using sample data. It will allow you to pull out information using your, from your inventory, which is your item, your location, your cost, um, your quantity on hand, your what any of the quantities on your purchase order, your sales order. Um, so this is a quick view. It's kind of replacing or it's kind of an addition onto what you currently get from your crystal reports within inventory. But it's a nice Excel format that will allow you to then once again maybe only see information for a particular location. So I might just want to only see what's in my inventory for location one. If I did that, maybe I don't. Maybe I could even put that location one as a filter, and I could just drag it up here. It's now gone there, and I could then now go in and say all. So maybe I don't need to see it based on each location. I just need to see it what it is for all, and have the filter on top. So you do have the func functionality of changing your pivot tables. You also have the ability to move or copy a report that's already been built. And maybe you might need to streamline it and you don't want to see all this information. So you may just take away, you know what, I don't need the stock unit. I don't need this. I just want to see my item number, my quantity on hand. Maybe I don't even use the average. So let's go down here, take off the average. Or maybe um, I don't need to see the, so this is a kind of, now you've built your own report within the system and you're able to save this as a template. So going forward, you could now have two different reports on the same worksheet. General ledger transaction listing is the same as your general ledger reports, but it's an Excel spreadsheet that will allow you to um, 
pull out data within the report um, and in an Excel format. You're able to then collapse the this is X, its pivot table functionality. So we could go in and collapse so you don't see the detail, you just see by account number. Dashboard analysis is kind of like a matrix KPI, which I know a lot of businesses use and want to be able to see a quick view of their data and be able to analyze their data. So you can build KPIs of metrics as long as you have the information there um, within the system to pull out metrics or any other data that you have. But here's a quick look and feel for your profit loss, your top expenses, top five customers, your items, your bottom items, and a graph that goes along with each of these individual um, dashboards. So that's a nice quick look and feel. Um, within this, with any of these reports, I kind of failed to mention that you have the ability of doing any drop downs. So if I want to see what made up uh, this toll, I do have the functionality of going to say show details by right clicking and it will actually give me the actual details of from the actual order entry. So I'm able to see my item code I'm able to see what order it came on. Um, that will allow me, I could also see the invoice number. So I could then go back into the Sage system and pull that data out and see if I need to pull out or pull, see whatever information is necessary. Um, as Stefan says, if you do have optional fields um, that you want specific data pulled into uh, this report, you will need to have the connector license to be able to manipulate or add any fields that has been customized to your system that doesn't appear because once again these are out the box functionality. Um, that being said, I'll move it back to Stefan um, to finalize and finish up. Thanks Karen, that was a great demo. So here is my contact information. Feel free to give me a call or contact me via email if you have any questions on the Sage Business Intelligence or the Sage 300 or specifically on the report manager module to learn more about what functionality does come with the system come out of the box. At this time, we will take any questions you may have, so feel free to unmute your phone or type them into the chat. So Karen, we have a question for you in the chat. The question is, if I make a change to one of, one of my reports, how do I save it? Great question. Uh, so we'll go back to the inventory listing report that we just kind of modified a bit. So we'll go back to the inventory master. What you would need to do is go back into, and that's why you need a report manager to be able to save templates, not just the viewer license. You need to go into the report manager Click on the report that you'd like to save the template for. Click on Save Template. Find the report that you are trying to save. We'll ask you whether or not you want to, um, it's asking you to save the parameters and you say yes. It's asking you for a specific template name. Um, it, will ask, it will tell you that you already have that template already exists. Would you like to replace the file? Or it will ask if you say no, then it will ask you where you'd like to save the file. But in this case, yes, I would like to replace it. And it will go through and it will save that template. And it will give you a prompt to let you know that the template was successfully created and linked to the report. It closes that report out, so I no longer have it here. If I wanted to go back in again and I used to run this report, and I'll just do a quick report and I'll show you how you run it. It's now running it. It's taking a bit of time, but it's pulling all your data from your inventory listing. It's calculating the sheets. So he, down here you can see your run time, so it's been 42 seconds. It's calculating the sheet, so it's pretty fast in the sense that it's pulling all that data into your, from your inventory listing into that report. And so now if we look again, there it is, and here's that other spreadsheet that I created. 
Hope that answered your question. Any other questions? No, I think that's all the questions we have for today. So if that is it, I uh, just want to remind everyone that you can feel free to contact me offline after the webinar. My email and phone number are on the screen and I'd be happy to answer any questions you may have. So thank you everyone for your time today. Um, we appreciate it and have a great day. Bye.